So you may have already seen our video of the top 10 scariest things in space. And if you haven't, then why not? Go and watch it right after this video. Your shower can wait and those kids can raise themselves. Trust me, it's a good video. But rather than scary mysteries today, we're going to look at some of the downright mysterious things in the universe which science cannot explain. For example, have you heard about the giant roar coming from the edges of the universe? What about the mysterious probe that is seemingly following the Earth? And why is there a giant void 250 million light years across in the middle of space where nothing exists? For any strange mystery subscribers needing alone time, that sounds like the perfect place to relax. But before you do, let's take a look at the top 5 unexplained mysteries of space. Number 5. The Missing Matter When a kitty cat goes missing, you might put up posters. When your keys go missing, you might check your pockets and behind the sofa. But what do you do when you can't find half the visible matter in the universe? Check behind the fridge? And no, that's not there. So where is it? The universe is theorized as comprising of 95% dark energy and dark matter. So we're already dealing with a whole bunch of mysterious stuff before we've even begun because we know diddly squat about either of these things. But the remaining 5% of the universe is something we do know about, as we're pretty sure it's made up of atoms and ions. For example, the material which makes up our stars, planets, gas, dust, chihuahuas, burritos, geese, this lamp, this other lamp, and those hats you wear on St. Patrick's Day. I could go on but I'd have to name everything made of anything in the universe, and YouTube doesn't let you make videos that long. This material is called baryonic matter. And if the standard model of the Big Bang Theory is correct, there should be at least twice as much of it out there as we can currently detect. So where the hell is it? Did space pirates take it? Have we vastly overestimated how much matter there is in the universe? Did some unknown forces of the Big Bang fire this matter into another dimension? Is the Big Bang Theory even correct? If not, is the TV show still shitty? Ask your local Christian pastor and they'll say no siree, bub. But ask a rational person and they may give you a different answer to the strange space mystery. Scientists initially believed that much of this undetected matter was located in diffused gas between the galaxies. And this theory seemed to have been given credence when the Chandra X-ray telescope discovered that our own Milky Way was surrounded by a cloud of gas hundreds of thousands of light years across. This halo of hot gas, which is roughly equivalent in volume to my own emissions after Tuesday taco night, is estimated to be similar in mass to all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy combined. We still don't know for sure if this is definitely where the remaining baryonic matter of the universe is located, but if it's true then it turns out it wasn't missing at all. We were just looking in the wrong place. And if these baryons are hiding in this halo of hot gas surrounding the Milky Way, what else is lurking in there which we don't know about? Are we also looking in the wrong place for dark matter, dark energy, and many of the other unexplained mysteries of the universe as well? And finally, are we sure? Are we definitely super sure? Are we definitely super duper super sure that we definitely didn't check behind the fridge? At number 4, the supercharged space rays. In the wintry landscape of the South Pole sits one of the most awesomely named scientific outposts on Earth, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. Now, I don't know if the observatory was actually named after rapper and actor Ice Cube, or if there are other stations named after Easy e and Dr. Dre. I am going to choose to believe that this is in fact true, even in the face of logic and evidence. Basically, I'm doing exactly what Hillary supporters do when they say she's a decent human being. See? You asked me to rag on everyone equally, and now I have. I am your humble servant. The function of the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory is mostly to capture signs of the elusive subatomic particles known as neutrinos. But shortly after its construction in 2010, it discovered something else which has proved just as mysterious. And no, it isn't the answer to how Ice Cube's wife's breasts seem to defy physics. Although that would admittedly be a study I would like to participate in. Hello, you're from Vermont, aren't you? <laughs> the problem with neutrino observatories is that they are constantly bombarded with a whole heap of different signals. And whilst most of this is considered background noise, one set of signals was considered far too mysterious to ignore. The observatory noticed that huge amounts of super-powered cosmic rays were hitting one part of the sky in the Earth's southern hemisphere. 
Most cosmic rays are hypothesized as being high-energy radiation emitted from stars which have gone supernova. But when these rays hit the Earth, they've usually lost a great deal of their energy after traveling for hundreds of millions of light years. These cosmic rays are far too powerful to have originated from such an event, especially one so far away. And they have been detected by laboratories with an alarming frequency in recent years. So where are they coming from? And what has happened to generate them? Some have speculated that previously undetected objects or supermassive black holes are to blame. And others think that an alien civilization may be manipulating these signals to contact us in some way. The last theory is a little crazy admittedly, but scarily the question of where these rays are coming from may not be the most important thing to ask. We know that exposure to cosmic rays can cause health problems for astronauts. So what happens if there are more of these mysterious rays on their way that can affect people here on Earth? Charged particles are known to directly affect natural phenomena such as volcanoes and earthquakes. So we could be about to see some increased aggressive activity from Mother Nature coming up. And highly charged particles have also been proven to alter the minds of physical beings. Humans and animals can have their emotions and cognitive perception changed from a blast of cosmic rays. So the next time your dog bites your neighbor's ass, or you accidentally call your best friend's mom a b just use the excuse, high-powered cosmic rays made me do it. At 3. The Mysterious Void Quite often, some of the greatest mysteries involve not the presence of something strange, but an eerie absence where something should be. If you see huge footprints in the snow, you can only wonder what unknown ferocious creature must have made them. And when you find out it's just an out-of-work actor in giant modified snowshoes, it kind of spoils the mystery. When an object or a person leaves behind nothing of their evidence of existence, that can be more frightening than actually seeing whatever caused it. And this is definitely the case when you look into the night sky and you witness the spookiest place in the universe, the Boötes Void. The Boötes Void was discovered by the astronomer Richard Kirshner in 1981, and it describes an area some 250 million light years across which contains about as much matter as a bottle of Mountain Dew contains essential nutrients, i.e. barely any. We know that space, as its name suggests, is mostly an empty void anyway. But this is taking it a bit too far. This area is 700 million light years from Earth and is located near the Boötes constellation. But there is barely anything observable in this patch of sky which measures a million cubic megaparsecs. So what gives? What in the universe could possibly have created a void this big? Has something exploded or imploded to wipe out most stars within a hundred million light years? Is there a reason stars can't even exist in this particular area? Did God take a really rancid dump in the middle of space and told all the stars to just leave it a while? The Boötes Void is the largest known void in the entire universe and we have no idea why it exists. There are actually a handful of galaxies which are present in the Boötes Void, and by a handful we mean 60 compared to the 10,000 galaxies it should have based on its size. One of the most interesting and therefore crazy explanation of the Boötes Void is that it has been deliberately constructed by a super-advanced civilization. The Kardashev scale is a method of measuring a civilization's advancement based on the amount of energy they can harness from stars and the universe around them. A civilization on the highest rung of this theoretical ladder, a Kardashev III race of beings, would theoretically have the ability to encompass a whole star with a device called a Dyson Sphere, which is a device capable of harnessing all of the energy of an entire galaxy of stars in a way which subsequently cloaks them from being seen. So is this what we are observing in the Boötes Void? Because of the Void's strangely spherical shape, some kind of uniform force has definitely been applied to the objects within it. But whether this is alien-made or a natural phenomena, the existence of the Boötes Void has caused many astronomers to completely revise their idea of how a galaxy is even formed. So, as we said at the beginning of this entry, the absence of material is truly more fascinating than its presence, an excuse which will never work if you forget to buy your wife a birthday present. Number 2. The Space Roar In 2006, NASA sent a balloon 37 kilometers to the very top of Earth's atmosphere. No, they weren't having a birthday party, but the scientists did get presents. What they were actually trying to do was detect radio signals and heat traces from galaxies and stars light years away. Signals they could be sure weren't affected or distorted by those from Earth. Unfortunately, they somehow managed to find something and nothing at the same time. But that something was absolutely mind-blowing. 
NASA's instruments detected radio signals which were six times stronger than anything they expected to hear. Every object in the universe, including stars, planets, and black holes, emit these radio signals, and this is how we often detect objects which are too far away to observe using light. But based on the sheer size of these signals, which NASA described as a roar, this object would be something so huge as to prove fundamental and potentially revolutionary in terms of how we understand the universe. NASA has so far concluded that the noise definitely isn't from star vibrations, it isn't a supermassive black hole, it isn't due to anything taking place in our own galaxy, and this giant roar was definitely not coming from a lion accidentally sent up with the balloon. However cool that would have been. Roar. You gotta put in space lines with laser eyes here. No, wait, 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 make it bacon laser eyes. Bacon laser eye lions. But then again, why would NASA have lines? That makes no sense. They don't even have spacesuits for lines. They had chimps, yeah, and dogs. Occasional weasel, right. Anyways, this background noise cannot have come from anything we know of. And it is far louder than the radio waves from all the objects we know of combined. Nothing in the known universe can create a radio signal of this power. NASA's Alan Coggett, who was part of the team who conducted the balloon exploration, even said of the roar that the energy alone that could generate this level of signal is incomprehensible. See? A full-on fancy-pants science guy who can imagine all sorts of crazy stuff in the universe can't even imagine what this noise could come from. That is how insane this object must be. Also at this point I should mention that obviously these radio waves have to be transformed by human equipment to enable us to hear them. There isn't an actual audible sound in space of a giant roar. Otherwise, the space race would have started and ended with Yuri Gagarin's famous quote, Oh, hello, space. What the f*** is that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he would have said that. Oh, and the reason I described this as a discovery of something and nothing is that the giant space roar also covers up other signals from objects in the universe, which was what the mission was originally trying to detect. So is this giant wall of noise a naturally occurring phenomena, or is someone blocking us out on purpose? We still have no official explanation for what causes the space roar, and it's doubtful we will in the near future either, but a few people have made educated guesses. Is it the sound of the universe expanding? Is it the sound of the universe ripping? One theory even speculates that this sound is proof that the universe is a giant computer, but the explanation of this theory made my head hurt harder than if Slipknot played a heavy metal cover of the space roar directly into my eardrums. And I also couldn't think of any other celebrities to compare that to, so you'll have to look it up yourself. And at number one, the unidentifiable probe. In November of 1991, astronomer James Scotty of the University of Arizona was searching the skies for asteroids when he discovered something hurling through the solar system which did not resemble an asteroid at all. James Scotty tracked the object and investigated further, discovering that it measured only 10 meters across, gave off unusually random levels of brightness, and was rotating in a most peculiar fashion not at all like a regular asteroid. He then found that the object now known as 1991 VG was orbiting the Sun in a way which was astonishingly similar to that of the Earth. Scotty began tracking the object for several more days, and he then discovered to his amazement that 1991 VG would pass relatively close to the Earth within the next month. By relatively close, we mean within 280,000 miles. But for an object like this, that's pretty close. Too close, in fact, for most asteroids as objects which pass the Earth at this distance tend to either burn up, smash into the ocean, or become flung out into a whole new orbit as Earth's gravity affects their trajectory. But not 1991 VG. After further investigations, Scotty discovered that 1991 VG had already flown by Earth in 1975 and that 1991 was neither the first nor the last time that this mysterious object would pay us a visit. So is this actually an asteroid or something else entirely? Initial investigations focused on the idea that this was a discarded piece of rocketry which could have been left behind from one of the early US or Soviet missions. But since there were so few of these before 1975, it was pretty easy to rule out man-made space debris out of the equation. Unless the Soviets suffered a secret accident in 1991 VG is a giant space coffin containing an unfortunate cosmonaut the world has never known of. And oh golly, with that we've just given Hollywood another reason to call up Bruce Willis. Hector when it close my eyes. God, I hate that song. To this day, we still don't know what 1991 VG actually is. But some have speculated that it could even be alien in origin. 
After all, any object which has no power of its own would have succumbed to the Earth's gravity and entered into orbit around our planet before burning up or crashing into us. 1991 VG has not done this. It has somehow retained its heliocentric orbit around the Sun and none of the debris humanity has left in space has ever shown this behavior before. So could an alien civilization have really sent this object as a probe to scope us out? If so, have they been watching me shower? Because that thing I do in there when I think nobody's watching is totally normal and every guy has at least tried it once, right? Thankfully, we might have an answer as to what 1991 VG is, because in 2017 this mysterious orbiting object will pay Earth another visit, 25 years after its last trip. And since it arrives in the summer of 2017, it'll fly past just as Guardians of the Galaxy 2 comes out. Coincidence? Yes, probably. Unless, of course, Marvel has laid down some serious space cash on their marketing campaigns. Want to watch more of some of the biggest and most deadly space mysteries out there? Then click on this video. Otherwise, click subscribe.